And today is very special episode of Asian at Home because I have a very special guest. B, come on here. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Introduce yourself. Yes, my name is B, and I'm Vietnamese. And today I'm going to actually show Sun here how to make one of the very popular bun, which is bun xiao, uh, also known as the Vietnamese crispy crepe. Yeah, I mean, when you go to a Vietnamese restaurant, this Vietnamese crispy crepe is always on the appetizer menu and everybody really, really loves it. And I know lots of you guys are recast how to make this dish and I'm super excited to share this with me, especially she's literally the um, what should I say, master of Vietnamese cooking and it's going to be awesome home style, right? Yes. All right, yeah. so where are we going to start? Okay, let's begin with making the batter or mixing the batter because it has to at least sit for 30 minutes. Great, while great. prepare other stuff. Awesome. So what, what's in the batter? Pretty much bun xiao is made from rice flour. Mm -hmm. So it's rice flour, a little bit turmeric which usually comes along with the package just to give it that yellow color. I'm super excited about this recipe because I, I had a, a Vietnamese crepes only at the restaurant. I never had it at home. So what, is, is it different from oh, the yes. restaurant? In home yeah, style? totally different. Homemade is totally better. Way better. 100% <laughs> better. <Yes. laughs> and then just for my personal preference, I just put in like another little sprinkle of uh, kosher salt or salt. Mm -hmm. So maybe about a quarter teaspoon. Three and a half cups of cold water into the batter, okay? What we also add is coconut milk. Mm -hmm. um, Pretty much it depends on the region of Vietnam, like mm -hmm. southern Vietnam adds a lot of coconut milk where central Vietnam they skip the milk and they, oh. they add beer to make it more crispy or fluffy but I love the coconut like milk because I, yeah, I love the smell of it and I like they, a lot of people think that you know once the coconut milk goes in there it's, mm -hmm. it makes it soggy uh -huh. but I'll prove you wrong. If you can make it better you could be using sparkling water? Um, you know you can because like my parents when they make this they actually use beer. So you know, with, with coconut water, I mean coconut milk. Yeah, and beer. Instead, instead of water, they use beer ah. because I guess um, you, to make it like a little fizzy and you know it's just I guess the air bubbles in there that helps uh -huh. it make it crispy. Can you go ahead and chop up the onions? Onions? Yes. Okay. So that way we can put it in the batter too. It's so like a green onion pancake. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's basically like a green onion pancake <laughs> with right. meat and everything else, the Vietnamese version. Doesn't have to be too fine. Yeah, that's perfect. Dip for the one. batter. <laughs> so let's put this aside. Can you explain what the vegetable we're gonna use for the business? Yeah, we use, uh, we pretty much we use mint, you know, of course the regular mint mm -hmm. and cilantro. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, usually like um, perilla leaves. However, these are more like the green ones. I just can't find the purple ones. And green leaf lettuce. We Korean love wrapping everything in the lettuce wrap. Yeah. Yes, as you know, you and love us Vietnamese, it. we love to wrap everything in the <laughs> rice paper. Rice paper. Yeah. So in order to use this, we always fill um, like a tub, either a tub, but now they have these little cute, um, very convenient, um, saves a lot of room on the table. Yeah, this is this is a genius container. thing I've yeah. ever seen. Just fill it with <laughs> warm water. You don't need hot water, just mm -hmm. warm water. And then when you dip it, you dip it really fast. So I would probably just say, in, twist, 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 and then out, okay? Because as you put it on the plate, eventually it's gonna um, get soft on mm -hmm. its own. So you don't have to dip it into the water mm -hmm. until it gets soft, it's gonna be too soggy. And you gotta work pretty fast. Because that's, that's <laughs> what we used to do before, yeah. and Jacob and I, we were having hot water. Mm -hmm. You were like, oh my gosh, my fingers are burning. <laughs> what did we, we used to use like that? It's working. We're having fun. Cheers. We have lots of comments because she loves my culture and I love her culture and it's it's so much fun to learn stuff yes, like that. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna do, is switch yeah. recipes. <laughs> I'm gonna show her everything Vietnamese I know. She's gonna show me everything Korean. She knows. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean it's gonna be so much fun. I'm so happy to know. Yeah. Alright, one more time. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's make the sauce. So what I did was I warmed up like it takes about one cup of water, mm -hmm. but I warmed up half a cup of water mm -hmm. so that way it could melt the sugar. When the sugar is all dissolved, mm -hmm. 
your that's when your garlic and your chili will float. Oh, wow. Yeah, but when the sugar is all there still, it's so dense and it's so heavy that it pulls down all the garlic and the sugar, so it all sticks to the bottom of your bowl. Oh, yeah. actually, that's a great tip. How much lime do you start with putting in here? About one third cup of lime, anywhere from a lime and a half to two. So it's depending how juicy the lime is. Yes. While she's squeezing that out, I'm gonna go ahead and measure about half a cup of fish sauce. You do want to use premium quality fish sauce because you know you're eating it raw. Kind of what we consider we call it eating it raw wow. instead of cooking with it. This brand here, I like this brand. So you always want to buy like the good quality ones. Two Thai chilies mm -hmm. and then uh, two teaspoons of garlic. Finally add the lime. Yeah. And so basically, yeah, this sauce is it's a little sweet, a little sour, a little mm -hmm. salty. And it's one of my favorite Vietnamese yeah. stuff. You can always make it ahead of time, store it in the refrigerator for you know like two to three days and then mm -hmm. just whenever you're ready to eat it, add the garlic and the chili. Fresh is actually better for, mm -hmm. for the garlic and chili wise, but you can make ahead the wet ingredients with the sugar and just add the garlic and chili right before you serve. Yes. Alright, that's a great tip too. Awesome. I love all the tips that you give. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Now that we're moving over to, um, I'll tell you what's gonna go inside a bansel while you're cooking it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be the sprouts, mm -hmm. a must. Okay, pork belly, okay. Pork protein. and then of course shrimp. You could leave the shell on, but I find that when we wrap it, it's just better when we take the shell off so you don't have to stop yourself and pull the shell out of your mouth. This is pork belly that you used. It's like a super thin cut. Not American bacon, it's basically pork belly unseasoned mm -hmm. and it's pre-sliced. Can you uh, tell me what's in? Okay, it's the same, same seasoning. Fish sauce, um, a little black pepper. Mm -hmm. The shrimp, I don't use fish sauce, I use salt. So salt. salt and black pepper. Everything is ready, now we are ready to cook, mm -hmm. right? Yes, right. Ready? Awesome! Let's move mm -hmm. our all the ingredients to a stove so we can start cooking. You're using 8 inch non-stick skillet and uh, is that non-stick skillet is idea to use for the yeah. crepes? It has to be non-stick. Has mm -hmm. to be. Yeah. It's a must? Yes, must. that's a must, yeah. Preheat your pan because your pan has to be hot, okay? Because like right, when, right when, um, I have it on medium high. Medium so high. at least when you feel the heat, then you know it's ready to go, okay? We're going to go ahead and cook the pork for it first, so because mm. this is how you get the pork crispy. Yes. Without any oil. What do you want to do without oil because the oil will make it splatter. Oh okay. my goodness. The pork and fish stuff is like the most genius ever. After like the, the meat is probably, I would probably say three fourth way cooked. Mm -hmm. You know, of course when you add the shrimp and then when you do add the shrimp, there's a certain way that you need to line the pan so that way when you pour in the batter, you'll be able to flip it. So this can't be just like in the middle uh -huh. because when you flip the batter, it, this is going to be in the way. So you either move it this side uh -huh. or that side. So you need that, that, that line, line down here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the shrimp, we could just cook it halfway because it's going to continue cooking. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't want to overcook the shrimp. Right? Yes, because it's going to be lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely? Mm -hmm. no, not lovely, uh, robbery. <laughs> robbery. Okay. Totally different. So I would probably put in almost like a tablespoon of oil. See, uh -huh. this is the reason why you don't put the, uh, the oil in with the pork. You want that diesel. So now that your pan is hot, right when, yeah. careful. right when you pour in the batter, you got to start swirling right away. So it's kind of like making an omelet, and uh -huh. this is the reason why you need the pan to hot at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Hot pan will settle the pancake as soon as possible. Too. Yes. And it'll make that crispy later. Yes. Oh my goodness! I want you guys. I want you guys to smell this. Okay. It's ridiculous. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is when you turn the heat down to about a medium and put a lid on it. What, what, what they have to do if they don't have a lid, like you can use either a cookie sheet over it. Mm -hmm. Just need to be covered, right? Yes. Well, I've always had a lid, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very good at craft. <laughs> I don't have all the tools all the time. And especially I've been living in a hotel for two and a half oh, yeah, months right, right now. So. So I, don't, I don't have a lid for all my pots and skillets, so I use a cutting board. You right should now. have named your channel to a Hotel Express. <laughs> hotel, Express. <laughs> hotel Cooking Express. <laughs> Consistency of the crispiness depends on how patient you are with each bun cell. So you cannot okay. rush through it. Food that you have to pay attention a lot, yes. it cannot be bad. Yes. You cannot mess up with that. And one advice, never have a bun cell party because when you cook this for a group of people, it's going to be tough. Okay. You have done it. I have and I failed. 
<laughs> that's what don't do it. Okay, make sure you don't let the water from the lid drip into the bunsen, okay? So that's why I pulled it out and like moved it right away. Uh -huh. Crispy on the crepes, crispy on the propelli, mm -hmm. and crispy on the bean sprout. Mm -hmm. This is like crispy heaven. With yes. The, even lettuce is crispy yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. Crispy in every bite. <laughs> Pretty much you can tell it's cooked, almost cooked through because like the batter is mm -hmm. not like gooey anymore. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is go ahead and take some sprout and just put it on one side. And then we'll just leave it on the pan for another like less than a minute. Less than a just minute. let the sprout cook a little bit. This one is all done. Alright, we are done cooking Ban Sio Vietnamese crispy crepes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and thank you so much, V, for oh. cooking all this for us and teaching us how to make this amazing dish. All right, show us how to eat this. The warm water, we'll just dip it really fast. We spin it around. It's still hard, but mm -hmm. we will suck it up like V yeah. said. We just kind of like cut up the actual crepe. Customize whatever yeah. you want to put it in. Mm -hmm. We also eat this with the daikon and carrot pickles. It's just we don't have it today, but you can always Why have that? that too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sonia Longas. And I'm Bingo. And this is Asian, Asian at Home. Thumbs up and subscribe. If you like, if you like this recipe, thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>